Okay, so when you begin an install, you're gonna start with putting the brackets onto each of the channels. You're gonna have a T bracket and an L shaped bracket on either side of the four inch wide section of post. So what you're gonna do is always put the T shaped bracket on the higher side. So if your fence has a step in it, you're gonna always wanna put the T shaped bracket on the higher elevation so that this post sits slightly higher than the next panel in line. If you were to put it on the lower side, then the panel over here would actually sit taller than your post on your step. So once you have your brackets in place, you're gonna go ahead and lay out all your posts for the part you're gonna install. There's one post that's gonna have brick ties in it. There's three brick ties that'll be folded down flat to the post. And then you'll put that on the back side of the fence, the side that you're not going to install from. On the front side of the fence where you're gonna install, you'll just lay the other post that doesn't have any tabs on it face up on the ground. <clears throat> now when you get ready to install, you'll start by putting all the posts on the back side that have the brick ties onto the <clears throat> uh, brackets here. So you'll set, bend the tabs out so they stick out straight to either side of the channel. Set this post onto the wing of the T-shaped bracket and put three screws in, one in each of the brick ties, securing that post to the channel. Now the top tab here, you're gonna leave bent up, so when you come back and install, you'll be able to insert the foam and then bend it back down, and that will tie it together on both sides with the concrete. So the post that you laid out on the ground, you'll come back and drill a quarter inch hole in the center of the post in each line, the separation line here in the post, and then go ahead and insert the long screw into each hole just for ease of install so they're on hand when you stand the posts up. <clears throat> 